Hello everybody, I'm Jack Ivey, once again live in the studios of WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Going to welcome you back to our political forum and of course, if you've been watching Channel 12 or 97 over the last several years, you know about the political forum. That's where we bring in candidates that's running for a local office and talk to them about the upcoming race. And we're excited about having a very special guest with us today. We got Miss Charlene Fancher, and of course she is a candidate for mayor for the city of Red Bay. Thank you, Jack. That's got a pretty good ring to it, yes, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Of course, uh, Charlie and I know if the folks in Red Bay are watching, the uh, election time is coming up on the 23rd, which mm -hmm. there's not a lot of time to get out there, so you're going to have to get real busy to get out in front of the folks. But what kind of feedback are you getting early out of the gate about this race? Absolutely overwhelming, Jack. People have been uh, very receptive. Uh, I've started my campaign door to door a couple of Saturdays ago, and um, I can't thank the people enough who have asked me to come in and cool off a little bit and offered me water and very, uh, very receptive to my campaign. A lot of phone calls, a lot of friend requests, a lot of uh, people requesting signs and shirts, and I'm very excited about it. Charlene Fancher, once again, our special guest. And Charlene, my memory is correct. Eight years ago, almost to the date, you and I were sitting here and you were asking the folks to vote for you at that time. Uh, for a councilwoman for the city of Red Bay, and they were uh, very nice to you and kind to you and elected you, and uh, what's your thoughts on that? Well, Jack, it's hard to believe that it's been eight years. It seems like it's gone by in a blink of an eye. Uh, the, the work that's been done in the last eight years has been tremendous. I can't even start to, to list all the progress that has been made in the last eight years. I have, uh, it's been an honor to work with great council members, uh, former Mayor Bobby Forsyth and Mayor David Tiffin. We've all made a great team together and it's been an honor to work with them. And, and I want to thank the Citizens of Red Bay for allowing me to be your council member for the last eight years. It's been an honor and a privilege and I, and I thank you very much. And just in case you've been out of town, of course Mayor Tiffin not running for re-election and as of today there were three folks that qualified for the mayor's race so you're going to be uh, probably hearing from three candidates there and of course uh, you got council races that's going to be going on. We'll tell you more about that later, but today we're here to tell you about uh, Charlene Fancher. And of course, I know a lot of folks have moved into Red Bay and may not know you or the other candidates. And uh, I always like to give the candidates an opportunity to tell a little bit about mm -hmm. themselves. And folks, this is Miss Charlene Fancher. Tell us about yourself. Well, you're exactly right. Uh, as I started my door to door campaign, as I said, I realized that there are a lot of new faces in Red Bay, a lot of people that I don't know, people that don't know me. So. I'll introduce myself again. Uh, my name is Charlene Fancher. Uh, I'm, I've lived here in Red Bay all my life. Uh, I'm a, my roots are deep in Red Bay. I've raised two children here. We've all, uh, myself along with my children, have attended Red Bay School from the beginning to the end. And, and uh, my parents are the late Charles Hastings and Jean Hastings. Uh, my husband of 27 years, and I'm proud to say, uh, a veteran of the Marine Corps, Jerry Paul Fancher, Jr. We have two children, Grant Fancher and Gretchen Inman. Uh, they're both married now. That did occur during the last eight years. Uh, Grant is married to Devin Fancher, and um, Gretchen is married to Josh Inman. Does that help on the expenses of the home place now, since you got them out on their own a little bit, or is it like most everybody else's? Maybe it increased well, a little. It's like that big deep breath, you know, <laughs> after you know you work really hard to uh, raise your kids and get them through school. And it's just, when kids are happy and kids are doing good, everything is good. Sounds good. Charlene Fancher, our special guest. Of course, Charlene is running for mayor for the city of Red Bay. And uh, Charlene, uh, a lot of talk going on in Red Bay. Of course, uh, they say it's time for Charlene to maybe step up to the plate and take over the mayor's job. That's a pretty nice compliment from the folks, isn't it? Yes, it is. And and when I'm out talking to folks, Jack, people say, well, Charlene, I wanted you to run last time. I said, well, I believe that there's a time and a purpose for everything, Jack. And, and I know in my heart that um, it is time. It's time for me to step up to the plate. I've got a lot of experience, 19 years, as a matter of fact, with the city under my belt. And it's time for me to get in action for Red Bay. And I am really excited about it. You've worked for really a lot of administrations over the years, too, haven't you? I have. I have worked uh, with six mayors, as a matter of fact. Uh, a lot of people may not know this about me, but my first job was lifeguarding for the city of Red Bay. I don't know if you know that. I didn't Jack. know that. Yes, I was 15 years old. It was my first job. Uh, lifeguarded for five consecutive summers with the city of Red Bay. Paid for my first car for that job. 
and and I'll add, I'll get a little bit deeper about the lifeguard job. Back then, as compared to now, which was you know I was 15, uh, we were hands-on workers. In other words, we didn't just show up to lifeguard. Right. We uh, we had to break apart uh, motors. We had to input the chlorine ourselves. We had to. Uh, uh, look at the carburetors and just all, you know, it, we were mechanically inclined, I will say. So we had to really get involved back then as compared to now. Times have changed Times a little bit. Times have changed, yes. Let me ask you a question. Um, a lot of progress has been made in the last eight years since you've been in the office. Uh, how would you look at the current state of Red Bay right now? Uh, for the folks out there that might be new to town, and you got a lot of folks that don't keep up with day-to-day uh, -day activities uh, in, a, in a particular city, but uh, uh, choosing you as mayor, uh, do you think that's going to be the right leadership that Red Bay needs to carry us even to that next level? Without a doubt. Uh, I think all these years have been for a purpose. I think I've been preparing for a long time. Uh, eight years ago, we had our work cut out for us. Um, this administration uh, and all these council members that I've worked with for the last eight years, we the first the first week when we uh, took office, we rolled up our sleeves and we went to work, Jack. We had a lot of things, a lot of work to get in order, such as the finances of the city. Uh, we took advantage of refinancing a lot of city debt, uh, taking advantage of stimulus money that was available to us, and we were able to do uh, a lot of refinancing, and we saved the city two uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars by doing that. And so right from the get-go, you know, we we uh, we jumped in and went to work. We have been able to save a lot of money. We've got a budget in place, which that was one of the things that I really pushed for when I was a council member was to get a budget in place. You've got to have a plan. A budget is merely a plan, and you've got to live within your means because you never know what is going to tear up, what's going to happen in the future. There is a constant, constant work to be done, and you've got to have funds to be able to be ready and prepared. Just from attending some of the council meetings, and uh, of course we want to try to get back to putting those on TVs. We've been shorthanded a little bit. We were mm -hmm. over there the other night. We but, missed uh, you there. But uh, I always enjoy going it because you can kind of keep up with what's going on in the city. But what I like to hear from council meeting to the next council meeting, uh, sometimes Mike Kennedy will bring that up, you know, sales taxes up. Exactly. Sales taxes up. And it seems like continuously every month. Tell the folks what that means when sales tax is up. Sales tax means a, a stronger tax base for the city of Red Bay. That means that when our sales tax is up, that's increased revenue for the city. That means added services, uh, whether it's equipment or, or whatever. It's an added service that adds to our uh, a good uh, financial forecast for the city. And we've kind of left that to Mike Kennedy. Right. You know, when we get that report, we'll say, oh, Mike's going to report on that. So he's done a good job for us reporting on that each month. Charlene, uh, if you look at the numbers, no doubt you've got the most experience if, if folks are looking at experience as in a candidate. And, of course, you've worked for, uh, we talked about a little earlier, six mayors. Uh, tell the folks what you bring to the table if you're elected that as an ex-mayor. What, what do you bring to the table? Uh, I always like to ask this point, and I'll throw this question in. Uh, why should I vote for Charlene Fancher? Think about that when you answer okay. this. Okay. Uh, that's an easy question, as a matter of fact, for me to answer because I am prepared. I am diversified. Uh, you won't catch me just sitting behind the desk at City Hall. I love to be mobile. I want to be, uh, I will be a, a hands-on mayor. I love to be involved in projects. Uh, I love a challenge. Um, I love progress. And therefore, um, I am the best candidate for this position. You know, I have the most experience and I'm not afraid to get out there and work, Jack. You know, I, I see a lot of things going on in the city right now from uh, uh, different maintenance workers everywhere. They're uh, improving the mm. uh, city. And of course, a lot, you gotta have money to do that. And of course, I know y'all have worked hard on getting grants. And I know the folks I will as this Golden Road, I'm looking forward to this project being completed somewhere down the road, the paving of the Golden Road. And I know you putting in the new bridge. So there, there's a lot of activities going on in Red Bay at this time to, mm -hmm. to better the streets and uh, gas have, and water and everything. Right. We have uh, patiently awaited the um, project on Golden Road to get underway. That's been quite an ordeal and we've uh, worked closely with uh, Franken County on that and so that's uh, a project that we're working together with. 
and um, we was talking about grants. That's why you've got to really maintain a strong financial base is because without grants, you will not see improvement in your city. Uh, I was adding up the figures a couple of days ago from the very first four years, I believe it's close to two million in grants we received. The next four years, this current administration's almost three million. That ranges from sidewalks, drainage, streets, and we cannot forget sewer. Sewer is a constant challenge for the city of Red Bay. Charlene Fancher, our special guest, and of course uh, she's wanting to be the next mayor for the city of Red Bay, and you'll have a chance to put her in that position coming up on August the 23rd. And uh, I got to ask you a question. What does Jerry and the kiddos think about mom running for mayor? Of course, they know that you love the, uh, being in the government. Uh, mm -hmm. What do they think about you running for mayor? They are very excited. They support me 110%. Uh, as a matter of fact, the first Saturday that I uh, started my door to door, Grant came home and he said, Mama, I want to help you today. And I just, I felt good with him going with me uh, door to door. And um, especially when it comes to dogs. I'm afraid of dogs now. <laughs> I am too. If they had a dog, yeah. I probably would just throw one of the yes. uh, door hangers out mm -hmm. right there. But uh, my husband and children, you know, who knows you better than your husband and your children? Right. They know where my heart is. And it's been with the city of Red Bay all these years. They know my love for Red Bay, and uh, they know that I'm intense about it. They know that my uh, intentions solely are to make Red Bay the best that it can be. Of course, I know one of your big cheerleaders is probably your mom. I, uh, what's she thinking about it? Oh, mother is very excited, and bless her heart, she's been a little sick the last year, uh, and so I think this has been a motivation for her to just uh, to get better. And she's been out going door to door too, and seeing friends, and and supporting me, and I can. Thank you enough. Sounds good. We appreciate you uh, being here today. And Charlene, on behalf of WRMG TV 12, TV 97, I want to thank you for coming on the political forum. And I want you to promise me, even though we hadn't uh, got a very long time till election day, I want you to promise that you'll come back and we'll sit down and do another interview mm -hmm. and talk about uh, how the race is going. You're probably going to run into folks that want to talk. Exactly. And their whatever their problem is or whatever their issue, that's important to exactly. them. Exactly. And I know you're a good listener, and, and uh, maybe they can uh, come up with some ideas and things that uh, maybe we need to discuss here on the forum. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a question for Ms. Charlene, uh, you ask her, and uh, we'll talk about it on the political forum exactly. coming up. Mm -hmm. So you need to be uh, knowing all you need to know about the candidates, mm -hmm. and uh, I think this is a great way to get it out. We'll not only have this on uh, our channel 12 here in Red Bay where you can watch it, We'll also locate it uh, on our YouTube channel. We'll put it on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever the mm -hmm. social media is. Uh, you'll have a chance to watch it uh, one way or another. And uh, Charlene, you can email this uh, interview to folks. You can text it to folks. And I know she'd like you to get behind the campaign if you're pulling for Miss Charlene and help spread the word out. And one way you can do it is uh, spread those interviews out so the folks can see what uh, Charlene stands for as being the next mayor. Of course, August the 23rd is the big day, and of course, uh, uh, I know your intention is, uh, is to lead the city of Red Bay and stuff. I, you know, I always like to have a camera at the end to let you ask for the mm -hmm. folks' vote, but uh, once again, I appreciate you for coming on here, and I know the folks uh, look forward to seeing you go door to door, and I look forward to you coming back on the forum. Any final words? I've got your own camera right here for you to ask for the folks to that vote out there. And Jack, thank you again for yeah, having me today. I appreciate it very we'll much, and you. I will be back. And I'm glad you uh, told the, the folks about uh, all the different ways they can watch this interview. And I'm going to tell you something else I want to tell the citizens of Red Bay, that um, I want you to call me. I want you to get in touch with me. If you have issues and concerns that you want to discuss with me, I will be glad for you to, to call me. My phone number is 256-460-0288, or you can send me a message uh, through email. It's very simple. It's my name, Charlene Fancher at yahoo.com. Please call me. I will return your call or your message. And I just want to say that, you know, I go through, uh, I, I stand by the motto of actions, speak louder than words, and uh, I'm ready to put my experience into action for the city of Red Bay. Uh, it's evident that I love Red Bay. Red Bay is my hometown. I want to see it grow. And I want everyone in, in Red Bay to succeed and, and do good. And um, if you vote for me on August 23rd, you'll be voting for yourself because I'm going to do everything uh, uh, to the best of my ability to make Red Bay, which is the best, better and better. 
thank you so much, Dad. Sounds good. Can I have your little sure. door hanger over there? If Charlene comes by, and Denise, if you'll come to the shot of me just for a second. If, uh, if Charlene comes by, and she happens to miss you. Are you going to leave one of these on the door? Most definitely. And yes. uh, but she's going to try to see you. So be on the lookout for. Her. Have her something to drink. Uh, <laughs> is anybody trying to give you any groceries? No out of the garden? No, no, nothing out of the garden. Not yet. Yeah, I and would the, take some tomatoes. Y'all yeah. didn't have a chance to have a garden this summer, so but, a nice uh, tomato would be but good. But <laughs> we appreciate you. And uh, it looks like you're ready to go. Uh, you've uh, seen some of the beautiful signs you got around town. Thank some you. work went into this campaign. Yes, and uh, I told Charlene just before we started, I said. You didn't put this together in the last uh, week or so, and uh, so you've you've been planning this, I'm sure, for a while and uh, oh. getting everything ready. So, and as I told you, Jack, and I didn't make mention that um, I also work a full-time job at Red Bay Hospital, and so this is quite a challenge, you know, to have time to campaign and and punch a clock and and do everything else. So that's why I gave my phone number. If I don't see you uh, in person, I apologize for that. I am trying to cover Red Bay from. From one end to the other and so but please call me if you have questions for can me. you give I'm that glad. number one more time yes my number is 256-460-0288 sounds good charlene fancher our special guest charlene i want to say thanks to denisa she does a wonderful job on the yes, controls be on the lookout for this interview we'll have it on channel 12 like i said it'll be on youtube make sure you share it with your friends and neighbors and of course we'll see charlene a little bit later to update you on how our campaign is going once again, for all the folks watching out there, thanks for watching us on TV 12 and also TV 97. We're also on live stream. Uh, we're on AM 1430. And Charlie, and I'm happy to announce that uh, real, real soon, they're going to be able to listen to us. We're putting a brand new FM station on the air. Me and you've talked about it. Yes. It's going to be 97.9. And guess what? They'll hear you on 97.9 before this campaign's over. I can't wait. And I can't wait to hear that great music you've got picked up Sounds to go good. with it. Thanks again. Thank okay? you, Jack. Thank you, folks, for watching. And we'll see you next time right here on the Political Forum. Y'all have a great day.